Hello everyone, welcome to Dark Spot Reviews. I'm your host, David Gilly, aka Dark Spot. Today, we're going to review the 1994 film, The Mask, starring Jim Carrey. Now, The Mask is it's one of those films, it really does stand the test of time. No matter at what ages, this film is funny. There are jokes that are clearly set for made for children. And it's like when he gets the balloons to make a Tommy gun. Now that, that's funny for that's funny for children. But what you don't realise, my child, is the little jokes like uh, when he when he's pulled the balloons out and he pulls a, con a used condom out of his pocket. Says, "Sorry, wrong pocket." Now, as a child, you don't notice that. You just think it's a bad balloon. But I can imagine the look on. I would love to have been there to see a parent's face if they took a child to see this movie. Jokes like that is it's priceless. Uh, this is, to me, this is one of Jim Carrey's best films. It's one of his solid performance. Stanley Eckes, he's great as that quirky character who always seems, he always seems to get the worst of luck. And he just never quite has the confidence to stand up for himself against these stronger, stronger willed people. And the mask, he finds this mask and it brings out who he really is, but there's a more, a more exaggerated. So when he becomes the mask, he becomes everything he's always wanted to be and a little bit of what he doesn't want to be. It's like the mask empowers him. And there's a clear defiant between the two characters. The mask, the mask is just crazy, that is it. Stanley watches the cartoons, the mask impersonates the cartoons. Now as for the visuals, to an extent they don't stand up fantastically. but. Well, it's because when, when he first puts the mask on first, that stands up quite well. That's very, very early CG. If you, when you, if you watch any behind the scenes stuff, like he puts the mask on, starts going on his face, and you see him run his fingers down the mask as it's engulfing his head. Now, you know, watch behind the scenes stuff, and he's literally, he's just down there, he's just doing this, and that was all put on digitally. It still looks pretty decent, especially for the early 90s. The thing that kind of makes the, the aged effects look acceptable. It's like they are making it cartoony, like when he spins around like a whirlwind, kind of like a Tasmanian Devil. He's, it's based off a cartoon. Everything about the mask is cartoony, so the effects can look cartoony. You, if you can see where I'm, where I'm going with this, it works really well. There are, there are a few things where you kind of like, you can push it by because of that factor. Now other members of the cast, Cameron Diaz, I'm not the biggest Cameron Diaz fan, but I quite liked her in this movie. She plays. The, the, the girl, all the guys want, not just the girl, all the bad guys want, and everybody wants to be with her. And she actually looks quite attractive in this. It's not like now we're just older and just trying to look younger. She actually was young and attractive back then. Jim Carrey can be a really diverse actor, and this film proves that more than anything. See, every time we see the mask, he's different. He's got the same face out. The first time you see him, he established, this is the mask. He's crazy. He likes cartoons, he likes to destroy stuff by accident. It's not his always intent to destroy things, it just kind of happens. And then later on that scene we see him, he's an entertainer, it's like he's at the zoo, you know, step right up, step right up. And that's when he does all the balloon tricks and everything, it's like, ah, that's, that's established. This guy has multiple personalities, he likes to dress up. From that point, every time we see the mask, he does something different, like we see him, we see him when he's frowned, he's like, oh, he's all, he's in love. He's going after the girl. He's trying to be an over-the-top stereotypical Frenchman. No offense to any Frenchman, but that's just how it's the Americans portrayed. And then we see him as a we see him as a with his maracas dancing, which leads to one of the best scenes in the movie, in my opinion. When he, he's got all the cops doing the cha-cha. It so funny. It shows the true. It shows that the mask does have true power. It doesn't just affect him. It can affect other people. It's just it's just it's just funny. Another note there, you don't realise that there's women on the side of the street which I think are supposed to be, you know, ladies of the night. As a child, I don't think I noticed it, but I was watching it last night. It kind of gives that little way, you know, stand on the street corner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so later on, we, all see, we get to see him as a gangster. Now, the gang, gangster mask is cool. Yeah, it's like, you feel lucky, punk. Just... So there we go. We get to see multiple Jim Carreys. He gets to really have fun with this film. It's just a shame that since uh, a lot of his films recently, 
they're not really in challenge form. I don't think he really puts all in it. So I'm hoping that as Colonel Stripes and Stars in Kick Ass 2, we get to see more of the Jim Carrey we loved in the 90s. But as you know, every week I like to rate a film with something different. And this week, I'm going to rate it with Balloon Made Tommy Guns. Now I'm going to give The Mask four handmade Tommy Guns out of five. Really good film, definitely go out and check it out. Alright, well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, comment below, let me know what you thought of the mask and what you thought of this episode. Contact me on Twitter at Darspot. If there's anything you want me to review, just let me know. That's what I did this week. I put up a couple of options on Facebook and people let me know what they wanted to watch. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Hopefully, you're going to be getting one of these out every week. Subscribe and watch them. They've got a crossbow here, they've lost me with you.